the cold weather gives us a chance to wear the winter sweaters again and our boots. True. That's true. I wore my boots again today because you know what? We got snow, George. What happened to our spring-like weather? <laughs> you know, I thought I had put them away for the I season. Yeah, I know. I had to bring them out again. Yeah, snow over the weekend, snow today. And yes, we're not done with the snow quite yet as we have turned a little bit cooler here in mid-March. What's ahead for today and tonight? 13 weather ball is blinking bright. We have a little bit more light snow in a sight and it's also red, uh, briefly milder weather ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. Mainly a cloudy day and again, occasional snow flurries, uh, more snow showers closer to the lake, especially south of Muskegon down through Holland where it whitened up the ground for a little while. Temperatures though, definitely cold. Uh, you know, we've been cold in the last two weeks, just not a lot. February 29th, we were also this cold. We're currently at 33, below freezing generally from Sparta northward, and we'll be well down below freezing tonight. Uh, wind chill readings in the 20s, even 19 in Fremont. That's why I got the full winter gear going on right now with the hat and the gloves, so it is definitely cold. And we've had snow showers, nice uh, snow shower band that is now uh, exiting south through portions of Allegan, Van Buren, and Kalamazoo counties, where I'm sure the ground is white in those areas. Next weather system is right there. It's in the form of a cold front that's going to bring our winds up again later tonight and tomorrow. And that cold front will go through and drop our temperatures even colder for the middle to latter part of the week after we see a little bit of a warm up here tomorrow. 33 right now in Grand Rapids. Basically, here's where the cold air is settled on in. 30s, 42 in St. Louis, 36 in Lexington. Some warmer weather back to the west. But watch this area of precipitation. This is coming through after about 2 o'clock in the morning. A little bit of light snow. We're talking less than a half an inch. And then just kind of a cloudy, uh, mild day tomorrow as temperatures climb into the 40s. And then after that, we got some colder air for the rest of the week, and we're watching a system that will come through Thursday night and Friday with a little bit more in the way of precipitation. And you can kind of see that on Friday. Is that rain or is that snow? Well, I can tell you next week after the weekend, that will all be rain, but the stuff coming Thursday night and Friday is leaning more towards snow. We could see three inches of accumulation here Thursday night and Friday, so we'll see that as an impact day coming up on that 10 day forecast. Long range outlook says after that, we're gonna warm up from the 24th through the 28th. Higher chances for warmer temperatures, you'll see that in the 10 day, and higher chances for more precipitation. Yes, you're gonna see that in the 10 day as well. Tonight though, we'll see a round of some light snow later on tonight, in addition to the lake effect this evening. Below freezing everywhere, upper 20s and low 30s, so a slick spot is not out of the question. Mid 20s north with some late night snow for maybe an hour or two. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, lake effect snow this evening here, and then a little bit of light snow well after you've slept here tonight. 13 on your side forecast. Spring officially arrives here tomorrow at 11.09, 11.06 p.m. We'll hit 44. That is below our average high of 45. Dry Wednesday and Thursday, but there's that snow Thursday night and Friday. I'm going to give you a minimum impact for travel on Friday. The clouds will clear out Saturday afternoon. It kind of gets a little bit windy on Sunday, but that warms us up into the 50s generally. Monday through Thursday of next week, we'll also see some light to moderate rain with that. But we got to get through this week, guys. It's going to be another wintry week. Doesn't feel like the start of spring tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, thanks so much, George. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist George Lessons, and welcome back to winter. Yeah, it has turned colder, and it looks like we're going to hang on to that for a good portion, if not all of this week. But briefly, the 13 weather ball is red. We have a milder day ahead, and it's also blinking bright. Yes, we have more of that white stuff in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball, sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. And if you're walking the dog this evening, especially uh, south and west of Grand Rapids, you could still see some of those lake effect snow flurries. Starbuck, yeah, it looks more comfortable there than being outside, but I know, Lisa, you got to take Starbuck out for a walk. We'll give you a green paw this evening and also tomorrow morning, but just keep in mind where there has been some snow on the ground that's melted, you're going to have some icy spots. So that not only applies to the dogs, but the humans as well. A little more sunshine tomorrow. Breaks in the clouds, 5.3 out of a 10 point scale to create some green energy. Wind's going to be up quite a bit because a uh, cold front's approaching. So we'll have some breezy, if not windy conditions during the day tomorrow. We had the snow showers uh, overnight into much of the morning. Now they're confined south and west of Grand Rapids. Otherwise, cloudy skies downwind of the lake. Sunshine over here in Wisconsin. We're tracking a very fast moving, we'll call a little bit Alberta Clipper that's going to zip down through the region a little bit later on tonight. 
but tomorrow we'll see temperatures warmer than they are right now. We're in the low and mid 30s at the present time. Watch this area of snow come down from the northwest. This is after about 2 to about 4 o'clock in the morning. You won't even notice that you'll wake up. Maybe some uh, spots will have a little bit of white on the ground. A few breaks in the clouds here tomorrow, but it'll be dry Tuesday and Wednesday as well and probably Thursday as well. But what are we talking about in terms of precipitation? Most, if not all, of this is in the form of some snow, just enough to uh, register in the rain gauges. Uh, maybe a quarter to a half an inch of snow, a lot of that will be melting. And most of that will be tonight very, very late. Long range outlook, uh, weather pattern has changed. Much of the country, generally the western three quarters of the country, seeing high chances for cooler than average readings. We're right in between that and the warm weather to the northeast. So our average highs are in the upper 40s and low 50s. That's probably where we're going to settle. And we have higher chances for more precipitation during that seven day period as well at the end of the month. Forecast for tonight, it'll become breezy out of the west and southwest, upper 20s to around 30. So yes, below freezing later on. Overnight, we'll see that little bit of light snow slip on through mid 20s here and in the greater Grand Rapids area with that lake effect snow that will be diminishing in Allegan, Van Buren and Kalamazoo counties. Then a little bit of light snow late tonight will drop down to around 27. 13 on your side forecast. At 11.06 tomorrow night, spring, astronomical spring actually arrives. We'll hit 44 degrees, but drop to 34 on Wednesday. Both those days breezy. It'll be dry the next three days with some snow. Yes, some accumulating snow possible Thursday night into Friday, and then the clouds depart on Saturday. Finally, next week, we jump back up to at least 50 plus, but it looks like some rain Monday through at least next Thursday. George, just in time for the first day of spring? It feels like winter again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking this. After we were spoiled. We were spoiled. Certainly, yeah. First half of March, warmest ever. And now we have taken a turn back to what should be for this time of year. Well, maybe even a little bit colder. But at least for Tuesday, we're warming things up. 13 weather ball is rad. Briefly milder weather ahead. It's also blinking bright. We have still a little bit of light snow in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. Temperatures today in the low and mid 30s never made it above freezing in Big Rapids. We briefly touched 35 a little afternoon today. Our average high is 45. So for a change, we'll be colder than normal. Uh, we came within one degree of our forecast high. I thought we had gotten a bullseye up until 530 today, so I'll have to adjust that from a bullseye to a check mark later on. But within our target range, six days in a row. Cold air came pouring in then Saturday night and on Sunday, so we had those snow showers. They continue even whitening the ground southwest of West Michigan, the southwest of Grand Rapids here over southwest Michigan, and that is coming to an end. But we're going to watch a little area of some light snow that will briefly move through later on tonight. There are some snow flurries. This this is around 2 o'clock in the morning. A little uh, brief bit of some light snow zipping on through, maybe an hour or two, probably whiten the grass up because temperatures will be below freezing tonight. So watch out for a slick spot tomorrow morning until temperatures warm up. Southwest wind most of the day will then shift to the northwest. That'll be enough to boost our temperatures up into the mid 40s, a little bit closer to our average, but still below. And then dry weather here uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday before the next weather system arrives later on this week. And we're talking just light precipitation, enough uh, to coat the ground. All of this is in the form of some snow. And speaking of snow, uh, not a lot. Just enough uh, maybe to uh, create a little black ice here and there again tomorrow morning until temperatures finally warm up. In case you missed it, uh, last week, Friday, we updated the six, uh, three, week three and four outlook. And it does appear the cool weather at the end of the month is going to hang around through the first dozen days of April. Hopefully everybody's going on spring break to a warm area because that's from the southwest to the deep south. That's where the higher chances for warmer temperatures will be. And in terms of precipitation, uh, we have an equal chance of seeing more or less with the storm track further down to the south and to the southeast. For tomorrow, though, we'll become mostly cloudy. Kind of windy at the lakeshore. Winds gusting to over 35 miles an hour, but that'll boost temperatures up into the mid 40s. Certainly better than the low and mid 30s. Low and mid 40s north, not quite as windy. In fact, we'll call it breezy. Uh, wind gusts to about 30, 15 to 20 sustained. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, highs around 44 along I-96, 40, uh, 44, 46 along I-94. 13 on your side forecast. Astronomical spring occurs uh, a little before midnight tomorrow night, up to 44. Average high is 45, so we're not reaching that tomorrow or 
the rest of the week. Still breezy on Wednesday with dry weather continuing into Thursday. Thursday night into Friday, we actually might see some accumulating snow, so I gave a minimum travel impact for Friday. And then Saturday, the clouds will clear on out. Temperatures warm up a little bit on Sunday, low 40s, but it will not be until next week we get into some milder weather, but also we'll see some rain chances increasing Monday through at least the following Thursday.